David, I have to say when I turned up here, Doosan Precision Engineering Limited, I thought, I wonder what machines are going to be in here, and I'm not surprised to see all these Doosans. Is that the reason you called the company what you have? No, it's just a coincidence. Uh, it's parts of um, uh, family names put together. Okay, and now what, what do you make here? Tell us about the company and what you're actually producing. Uh, we do parts for motorsports, uh, the food industry. Um, you're in a pretty good location here in Nottingham, East Mids, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. Able to tackle most most areas of the country if you need yeah, to. Yeah. Quite close to uh, Northampton and that, you know, that part of the world for that kind of work. Uh, quite a diverse range of machines too. I mean, you know, I'm looking at a mill turn machine with an ATC. You've got twin spindle machines, vertical machining centres with uh, fourth and fifth axis on it. Your capabilities are quite, uh, you know, quite high, aren't they? Yeah. It's the chance to get the part off in one go, or as close to finished as you can get. Uh, now, you recently purchased Hypermill software from Open Mind. Tell us why you bought this software to start with. What challenges were you facing which led you down the path of buying it? Okay, so we were spending um, a long time setting up quite difficult parts, um, quite intricate setups, um, difficult features to machine. That was the reason why. And, and, and were you then facing, um, you know, pricing issues with your customers, Absolutely, unable yeah. to meet their, their yeah. requirements? Yeah, we lost some work um, overseas, which we managed to win back with after purchasing the software. So what has the software actually done then in order, you know, it might sound obvious, but by the sounds of it, just reduce the manufacturing time on the parts? Well, it reduces the setup time massively. You know, from four or five hours, some parts are taken to program and set. You can be down to half an hour. What's interesting for me as well is hypermill, open mind. A lot of people associate that with just milling, but yeah. of course, what we're talking about here is turning. They're yeah. turning modules. That, that was the attraction for you because that's mainly what you're doing. That's why we bought it. We bought it with the turning in mind. That's what we bought it for. Okay, now there was a ma there was a significant. One, can we talk through this part actually? Yeah. Because this is a great example, isn't it? Maybe can you tell us how you were doing it, and then what Hypermill did for you in order to reduce the the cycle time. So originally, this was made using um, grooving tools to do the the scallop in the back. Um, the problem with the material is it's not very good swarf control. Um, so we now use a button tool, and it comes out completely finished with one tool. So what decided that machining process? That all down to the software? Absolutely, yeah. Okay, now that controlled the swarf far better yeah. and also gave, re reduced the cycle time at the same, at the yeah, same time? at the same time, yeah. Yeah, the cycle time was massively reduced on what it was originally. And how difficult was it for you to actually program this part? Talk us through the process, what the, the customer gives you a drawing, you feed that into the software and, and then it spits out the results. Is it that easy? Pretty much, yeah. That's, that's, as, that's as difficult as it gets, really. You've got to learn the cycles, but the actual code generation is straight off the model. And, and how long would it have taken you to have got to grips with it in order to get the significant savings that you've seen with this part? Was it a quick transition from programming longhand to yeah. using the system? Yeah, we did the three-day training course at um, Open Mind, which was a, really a milling course. There was a little bit touched on in the turning, but the bulk of it was the, was the milling. But it's fairly easy and intuitive to pick up from scratch, really. Okay, so now you lost the work because you weren't competitive. Have you won it back? Yes, all of it. Yeah, so even the variables on this one, some quite long ones, you know, 125 mil long, and we get those as well. So as a result of the investment, has that now, would you say that's now paid for itself because you've, uh, you've, you've, you've bought this back? Almost, yeah, almost. Okay, now do you use Hypermill for your milling machine as well or is it yeah. just to... Yeah, we use it for both. Well, all the machines in Aero. Okay, so give me a final few words on how, what the changes uh, you've seen here as a result of this investment with Open Mind, David. It's the, it's the reduction in setup times is the big thing. The, uh, the ability to sit down for 20 minutes and half an hour and have a completely finished programme is, you know, completely different to what we were doing before when it was taking hours.